Hello, Information Services Librarian Megan here. I'm back with another book review. Today I am reviewing The Daughters of Eerie Town by Connie Schultz. Um, it's a novel that takes place in small town Ohio, starts in the mid 1940s, ends in 1994. And Connie Schultz uh, is a first-time novelist, but you've probably heard of her. She's a pretty well-known journalist. She wrote for the Cleveland Plain Dealer. She won a Pulitzer Prize, and she's also married to a U.S. Senator, Sherrod Brown. Um, the novel's about family, small town in Ohio. I think it's probably semi-autobiographical. Um, high school boyfriend and girlfriend. The girlfriend gets pregnant, they get married, and Neither of them ends up going to college. Uh, one of them was gonna go to Kent State. One of them was gonna go to nursing school. They have two children in all, and it's the ups and downs that follow. Uh, it ends with their daughter, Samantha. It starts and ends with Samantha, who's a first-generation college student, who becomes a teacher and principal. It's about identity, meaningful work, holding family together, the evolving role of women in society, women often relying on each other when um, <clears throat> they have to. Um, and I really liked it. Uh, it's about Catholics versus Protestants, ethnic communities, um, racism, it had a lot in it, uh, and I think you should read it. And I kind of feel bad for this woman that it was published on June 9th when a lot of people are were still stuck at home and libraries are closed. So give it a try. Thank you.